Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal here. And for today's video, we're going to be tacking, tackling one of the uh, most annoying things about video editing in Linux, which is that if you are attempting to use the Caden Live video editor, which is great and which is wonderful, you might be in for some surprises when it comes to what will play back in the editor. I'm gonna just drag over here Blackmagic's own documentation and uh, they it's it's they have this nicely laid out to give them credit. You can see decode and encode for the three operating systems, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Now take a look at what it says for Linux under AAC. I'm just highlighting this line here. We see that we can encode for Windows and Mac, but we can neither encode nor decode on Linux. Linux was the third column here. So this is this creates a problem whereby, as you can see, I've just imported a uh, test folder with three videos that I took at an airport last week, a uh, sort of plane spotting video, control tower, uh, spinny radar thing, and takeoff, right? So three clips because I want to make this uh, somewhat uh, quick and show how this can be done on the fly. Now our problem, as you can see, well, we can see the video. Now, firstly, I'm using the paid version of DaVinci. On the free version of DaVinci on Ubuntu, I was not able to access the, uh, the video. So this is the start. We're halfway there. We have video, just no audio. Uh, you can see the codec here for the video, H.264. And you can see the audio codec, which is AAC. Now, as you see in the waveform monitor, there is no audio. So we're gonna have to do something about this if we want to actually edit this, unless of course, we just wanted to use it as B-roll or something. But let's assume the other uh, situation. So there are a few ways to skin this particular cat. I've covered a couple of these in different videos for on YouTube, FFMPEG utility, uh, you can actually use Caden Live just for transcoding. That's one option. Unfortunately, I don't know. I don't see any way you can do it directly in DaVinci. But if you know of a way, please do feel free to correct me. But here's one way that will work. So there's a tool called Shutter Encoder. And it's free, but it does rely on donations. And uh, donations are appreciated. And what I'm going to do here is run these three files of airplanes through the encoder. So I'm going to firstly just find these um, on my computer. And I'm just going to pop in these three MP4s. Um, now the function that we're doing is we are going to be, it's going to leave them in the same folder as we were in before. And the function we're going to go for is uh, editing codecs DXNHD, right? So we're going to uh, change this over here. So I'm going to do this and we're going to put in the same folder and then all you need to do is essentially click on start function and it's going to start the transcoding process. And uh, this, we're doing three videos so it's not gonna take a ton of time. Actually, are we done? Nope, one video done, two videos done. And the third one's a little bit longer so it's gonna take a while. Now you can see that the formats change to .mov from .mo4 and you're also gonna see the files bigger. So if you look at this first file, uh, which is 5107, it is a 19 uh, megabyte file, 19 megs. And the equivalent, and you can see it's appended the, uh, the, the DNxhd to the file names. This has blown up to 132 so when you think about it that's a massive overhead right that's 10 times the file size so just an fyi now what i'm going to do is exit out of that because we're finished with our transcoding and um, i'm going to just take these out of my media pool because they're not useful to me as i can't hear the audio and i'm just going to put in the three and you, if you don't know there we go i'm going to put this into my audio pool add into audio pool media pool sorry add into media pool, add into media pool. And I'm listening to, as I'm recording this video through monitor headphones, so I can actually hear that there is audio. But I just played for a second. And you can see that the uh, audio has been preserved in the video. So if I drag it onto the uh, editing timeline, you can see that there is the video and there is the audio. I imagine there's different ways to do this. There are probably smarter ways to do this. If I figure them out, I'll do videos. But for the moment, that is one way to do this with the one drawback. It doesn't take a ton of time, 
but it does increase the uh, size that your video is going to take to store on your computer by quite a big factor. In this case, it was a factor of 10. Hope that was useful. If you're using uh, DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu Linux and uh, you find that, you know, you can see your MP4s, but you can't hear your MP4s, run them through the shuttle encoder. I'll put a link in the description and that should uh, solve your problems. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos.